Hello guys, this is Zhizheng from the Tank Revolutionist and today we have a very special video for you. This is a, a comparison video between the brand new Huawei P30 Pro smartphone as well as the Samsung Galaxy S10. The cool thing about these two phones is that they are both priced at the same level. They both cost $1,398. So it will be a very fair comparison to look at the performance, the camera, as well as the different aspects of the different phones uh, for you to find out actually which is better. So we're going to take a look at three main features of the smartphone. Firstly, we're going to test out the general usage, look at the performance of these phones. Next, we will move on to entertainment, essentially media consumption. How are the speakers, uh, does the screen look good and all these features. And lastly, we will move on to somewhat the most important uh, aspect of smartphones today, uh, which a lot of brands are focusing on, the camera. Okay, so these two smartphones have really good camera and we want to go into details and see what has these two brands got uh, to offer us. So first off, let's do a comparison between the specifications of these two smartphones so we can better understand how it affects the performance and daily usage. So for the Huawei P30 Pro, it's actually equipped with the latest Kirin 980 processor which was actually launched last year. Okay? But on the other hand, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus comes with the Exynos 9820 processor. So if you go into details, this actually uh, has a it's based on the seven nanometer architecture. The P30 is actually based on seven nanometer architecture, while the Samsung is on the eight nanometers. So in terms of power efficiency, probably the P30 Pro will uh, work better. So both smartphones actually have the equal amount of RAM. They have both eight gigabytes of RAM, which in our opinion is way too much. Probably you don't even need so much RAM. Probably your computer doesn't even have so so much RAM. And uh, the P30 Pro comes with a uh, 256 gigabytes of storage while the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus only comes with 128 gigabytes. So first off, we're gonna do a test using the PC mark uh, benchmark. So the PC mark actually tests different kinds of performance. So we'll actually do uh, web browsing simulations, video editing simulations, writing, uh, photo editing, as well as data manipulation. So we want to find out what's the, what's the score between these two devices. So after the test, we realized that actually the Galaxy S10 uh, reached a score of uh, 8,496 while the Huawei P30 Pro only managed to get a score of 7,728 So in this uh, initial performance test, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus managed to get 1.5 In our next set of tests, we are going to run a few synthetic graphics benchmark on these two smartphones. So this is actually a 3D mark uh, slingshot extreme benchmark which uh, runs a few uh, graphics intensive models on both smartphones. And on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, we managed to get a score of 4409 on the OpenGL ES 3.1. But, uh, but the Huawei P30 Pro actually comes slightly slower only at a score of 3492. But the interesting thing is the Huawei P30 Pro actually had the higher score on the Balkan API as compared to the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. This is probably because uh, the P30 Pro, the Huawei the Kirin 980 chipset has been uh, optimized uh, to perform better with the Balkan API. So in this test, we realized that both phones has got its strength depending on the type of API used for the games. So, um, because there is such a huge difference between the OpenGL, which most games are actually based on, um, we will give the point to the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus this time. We usually visit a lot of social media and download a lot of movies onto our smartphones for media consumption. So of course, the file transfer speed of the smartphones uh, really matters a lot. And the cool thing about the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is that it has got the latest Wi-Fi 6 built in right onto the smartphone. The Wi-Fi 6 is actually a new standard. It promises gigabit of wireless internet speed while the P30 Pro on the other hand only has the usual wireless 5 which is the wireless AC standard. So let's do a comparison on if there's an actual difference between uh, the speed, the transfer speed of via the wireless networks of these two smartphones. So in fact we realized that uh, there isn't really a too much of a big difference between uh, even though it has been specified for the Samsung Galaxy S10 uh, Plus who have Wi-Fi 6, the speeds of both smartphones when tra transferring files are rather similar. We thought that it could be possibly because um, Samsung is still using a very early stage of the uh, draft or the Wi-Fi 6 draft and therefore they are unable to uh, reach the maximum speed of what it promised uh, with the uh, Wi-Fi 6. 
One of the most important factors of choosing a smartphone is its battery capacity. Of course, you want a smartphone that can last you for the whole day just on a single charge. So for the Huawei P30 Pro smartphone, it actually has a 4200 mAh battery, while the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus has a 4100 mAh battery. So it's pretty similar. But let's take a look. This phone, the Huawei P30 Pro, actually comes with supercharged features which has charging capabilities of up to 40 watts. But on the other hand, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Pro only has a 15 watt quick charge uh, feature. So essentially, you can charge up the Huawei P30 Pro almost 2 to 3 times faster than the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. The Huawei P30 Pro actually comes with an in screen optical fingerprint sensor. So for example, if I want to unlock the phone, I can simply do this. And you realize that the specific portion of the screen which it lights up really brightly to identify the growth of your fingerprint. However, on the other hand, we have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Pro which uses the ultrasonic uh, sensor, fingerprint sensor instead. By comparing between the response time of each fingerprint sensor, we realize that the Huawei P30 Pro actually performs slightly faster than the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. We realize the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is not so responsive to fingerprints. For example, if you were to place a tempered glass on top of the um, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, it would not detect your fingerprint at all. So definitely when we're comparing these two smartphones, I will definitely give the point to the Huawei P30 Pro. For the next part of our comparison, we're going to take a look at the media consumption experience of us while trying out these two smartphones. Let's start off with the screen. The Huawei P30 Pro comes with a Full HD Plus display, but the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus actually has much higher resolution at QHD Plus instead. However, we do realize that even though with higher resolution, there is no discernible difference uh, from what we can see from our naked eye in terms of better graphics or simple, uh, higher clarity uh, for the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. But at the same point of time, because of its larger resolution display, it actually consumes quite a bit more uh, electricity and the battery actually drains quite fast, let's say when you are watching videos. So, for a practical sense, we think that the Huawei P30 Pro stands out in this area because a uh, Full HD Plus resolution is actually more than enough for uh, screens of these sizes. We have previously used quite a number of Huawei devices, but we realized that the Huawei P30 Pro actually does not come with a stereo speakers. Unlike the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, which has that stereo speakers, I think that stereo speakers are fundamental to the whole experience, the whole media consumption experience, and it seems like um, the Huawei P30 Pro went backwards in this aspect. Moreover, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus still has the 3.5mm jack, so if you have your favourite earphones, you can simply just plug it in directly, instead of having an adapter that you always forget to bring out on the Huawei P30 Pro. In today's flagship smartphones, we usually don't talk about performance and all these things. But instead, the focus has always been the camera system. So for the third part of the comparison, we are going to focus on the different features of the camera systems on the Huawei P30 Pro as well as the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. We are going to take a few photos in daylight to test out all the different camera systems, all the different lenses, they have multiple lenses, uh, and we will also take um, video shots directly from these two smartphones and do a comparison. The Huawei P30 Pro actually has a very powerful rear camera system. It has a total of four sensors available at the back. The first one is actually a 40 megapixel wide angle lens, followed by a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. A 8 megapixel telephoto lens, and lastly, there is actually a time of flight sensor that allows you to understand the depth of objects. On the other hand, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus has a very similar system as well. At the rear, there is a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera, followed by a 12 megapixel normal wide angle camera, and lastly, a 12 megapixel telephoto camera. We took a few photos in daylight condition on both smartphones. In our opinion, the Huawei P30 Pro is more capable in capturing a variety of shots well in different scenarios. It has a 5x optical zoom as compared to just 2x on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. 
In fact, the Huawei P30 Pro is able to zoom in 15 times to really take close-up shots of the subjects far away. Furthermore, they actually applied artificial intelligence techniques to sharpen the images you were digitally zooming in. Just in terms of its zoom capabilities, the Huawei P30 Pro definitely deserves another point from us. Generally, we felt that the Protoss captured on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus seems slightly washed out. It was able to capture the blue skies nicely, but on other areas of the photo, it kind of looks kind of underwhelming. The Huawei P30 Pro was able to compose an image of a good range of colors accurately. There is no doubt that the P30 Pro remains to be one of the best, if not the best camera smartphone available in the market right now. We have to reward another point to the P30 Pro for the high quality images it produces. For night shots, it's obvious to see which camera system is better. The Huawei P30 Pro was able to capture a more dynamic and dramatic night scene image of the building. It looks much sharper than the shots captured on the S10 Plus. Moving on to videos, we saw that the S10 Plus continued to capture videos that are somewhat oversaturated and unnatural. For our video at night, the white balance of the S10 Plus was also inaccurate and also somewhat noisier due to a higher exposure level on auto. I hope that you have a better understanding of what is the difference between the Samsung Galaxy S10 as well as the Huawei P30 Pro. Even though both of them are flagship devices, they are fundamentally different in almost every aspect. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Pro Plus actually has better uh, performance. Uh, you can play your games better, you can actually run scores better as well. But essentially, if you are looking for a new smartphone with excellent and great photography and videography uh, capabilities, do look out for the Huawei P30 Pro. And comparing these two phones, of course, I will take the Huawei P30 Pro as well. This is Chisholm from Attack Revolutionist. I hope you've enjoyed our video and I'll see you again next time.